Hello, Mr. Camp. Hey, how are you, man? Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. It's good to see you again. Let me go ahead and raise up your volume real quick. I'm not 1450 anymore. <laughs> okay, what are you? I'm uh, 13, 1350. Okay. Uh, a couple loose, a couple loose uh, last time. Okay, no problem. And I'm trying out new sieves, so it's a bit, uh, it's a bit rough. Okay. Sometimes. I, okay, I will say it's a bit early to start new sieves, start trying new sieves though. Usually you want to wait on that a little bit more. So, a lot has been going on okay. <laughs> since uh, last month. I played, uh, I think, uh, more than 150 games. Okay. But I watched at least uh, twice, twice that. <laughs> okay, right off the bat I'm seeing you have really good progress. So last time, uh, last time we met, it was like maybe three weeks ago or maybe a month ago at, at most. You were brand new, 1,050 ELO around, uh, just had been played for three weeks. Now you're 1350, you peaked 1450 after like a few weeks, and your win rate is still good. That's a really good sign. I'm gonna take a look at the notepad that I had. So last time, you had to focus on idle time in early game with the TC, so now I'm expecting a much better Dark Age. Uh, we had to attack earlier with the scouts in Feudal Age, and then in Cast Age, we were floating a lot of resources. So we have to balance the resources and spend them. And then in late game, it's more about macro focus and not about micro. So that's kind of like the, the problems we had last time. We weren't getting to 200 population. So this time I'm going to be looking to try to improve on that. And uh, yeah, why don't you go ahead and queue up and then we can talk a little bit more about uh, the situation. So yeah, I, I picked Hindustanis before. I, okay. I, I mean, uh, I was playing them I, after I went to my yards. But now I really like Britons because uh, one of my problems is the strategy. I mean, the game plan, Okay. what to do. And with Britons, when you go when you go crossbow, you 90% of the time, it's not a bad choice. Yeah. Okay. So you, you wanted to say that it's a little bit more simple, which is fair enough. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Uh, I think one of the problems that a lot of people with Britons have is how to counter a lead skirmisher early. Um, I'm not sure if you have problems with that, but we'll, we'll, we can take a look and see what, what's up, what's happening. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. I think it's better now uh, if we, like, uh, I will try to do my things. And if you see some mistakes, like, don't don't tell me what to do exactly. Okay. Because, uh, because on the first time, I, I was really... Brand new. I was more of a beginner. I'll just I'll just ask you questions. Make sure you're thinking about the next step, and and that's it. And I'll see if you make any mistakes. I'll tell you after the fact, so we can learn from there. Britain's students. Yeah. All right, you do your thing. Let's go. And uh, I wanted to know what is your OT for delete. Delete. It's the button delete. Yeah. Okay. But a lot of people it's change it. Really... Yeah. yeah. What the... All right. Okay. So I'm nervous. Uh... <laughs> no follow. You've been here before, bro. Yeah. Yeah. But. I need to to relax. Okay. So I think yeah, two turns. I don't really know the matchup. Um, I will go. I will go scout. I think. As I like to go archer. Ar uh, yes, yeah. early, because the the crossbow uh, peak is like uh, in Castle Age, yeah. or you don't really care. Yeah, but to be fair, going Archers lets you mass them up, so you get a stronger spike, right? Ah, okay. Yeah. I see. Uh, wood lines are pretty bad. Okay. I have one here. Okay. Ah. This is a really bad start. <laughs> I'm sorry, okay. guys. Uh, I actually see exactly what's going wrong. We're going to talk about it a little bit after. It's just your scouting pattern needs a little bit of work. Um, I'll show you a few tricks to make it a lot easier. But it's no problem. We can always win from these positions. All good. Yeah, usually it's it's a, it's a lot better. Mm -hmm. No, no, for sure. You were a bit nervous here anyways. Okay. So right off the bat, I'll, I'll just talk a little bit as you continue with your start. Our map is really open, and th this is usually a bad thing when we want to play archers. So, mm. I, I still think it could be a good idea to open archers, because if you open scouts for students, they get better knights and they get bloodlines. So, we're kind of playing into their strengths. Uh, it's not a bad idea if you want to open scouts and switch to archers, that's one approach. Uh, otherwise, if you, play, if you open archers, we have to wall up a little bit more than usual, I would say. Nice, sick. Yeah, 
Yeah, the walls are a bit uh, hard to to manage. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the uh, yeah, walls is also one of my big weaknesses. Yeah, I mean some maps are easier than others, so that's definitely understandable. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, to to learn uh, how how to wall different maps is like it it will take some time. For sure. Yeah, for sure. What what I will say is that if you have a bad map, your opponent likely also has a bad map. That's how it works. Okay. So if your map is open, your opponent's map ninety percent of the time will be open as well. Yeah, I want to. I don't know. Yeah, one deer is enough. Also. Yeah, yeah. I think you can go scout now. So one thing I want you to do is just keep your sheep closer to your town center. You should have done this from earlier as well. Because if they're there, okay. your opponent can come steal them. And I, I don't want you to risk for no reason. So just always keep them close to your TC. I see. Yeah. Nice. <clears throat> so you can decide your strategy, whether it's scouts or archers, it's your choice. Uh, yeah, I would go scouts. Okay. I think I might be a bit late with the food. I think you'll get it. Yeah. Ah, oh, nice. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that, that's a good woodland. Nice. Okay, so now, although your map is really open, notice that your wood and gold are close to each other, and then your berries and your other wood are close to together. So if you can just... Oh, yeah. If you can just wall a little bit on that side, and then with your army, protect the side that's open, that's probably the best thing that you can do to defend your map. So try to set up your map that okay, way. So yeah, a little bit there well, and a little bit on the right side. Yeah, yeah, like that. And then the rest you can if leave it come, open. If it comes from this way? Use your army. Yeah, use your army to defend. Okay, I see. You want to wall the, the part that's obvious and that's hard to defend close to your you know, resources. If you have a bad map you can't fully wall, then just wall the important side first. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. To yeah, because you, you want to have the military there so that you can defend your army. The, the right side is just houses and walls, pretty much. And notice now your opponent's map is really terrible. Okay, you're up 19 pop. Wait till your feudal age, then you can fight him, okay? Yeah. But run away from his town center. Pretend like you're baiting him away from the town center. So he can't run away. Yeah. Bring him away. He's chasing you because you have less HP. And you have faster feudal because we went 19 pop. Yeah, and now you can just fight him. Easy. Easy baits. <laughs> nice. Ah. All good, you have a pretty massive advantage. You won the scout fight. Oh no. <laughs> That's really bad. It's all good, yeah. You, yeah, you guys sometimes both Sometimes I, I always forget about it. <laughs> it's all you good. Know, having your attention on multiple things is really hard. Yeah, for sure. Probably the hardest part about, uh, about AV, the multitasking. Mm. Nice, already start walling. You win that. <laughs> nice. Nice, you did something amazing there. You farm as soon as you have 60 wood. That's really good. I like that. Okay. Yeah, I try to spend my wood. It's mm -hmm. always... Uh, it's really important, yeah. The key. Okay, yeah. Let's go. So the problem what we have right now is that we don't, we still don't know what he's doing. So we need to try to figure out ASAP what he's doing. If you think he's doing scouts, we need one spear at home just to defend. Yeah, yeah he's doing scouts, scouts now. Yeah. One spear at home at least, and then we can just look to do damage now. Remember, you're up first, so we, we should attack first because we we're up faster. So we have more scouts mm -hmm. right now. Even if you don't find damage, it's good to attack because then he can't attack you. Or it's going to be harder for him to attack you.
Amazing. Good. Ah, he got one too. Yep. Pretty even game so far. I killed him, right? Yeah, yeah, you killed him. So you killed two bills so far, he killed one. So now you, you, you want to get back to your strategy. You want to full wall your base because we can't play full feudal against two and they have bloodlines we don't. So now we need to really focus on full wall. So I recommend you bring your scout back, actually. So this scout, you, you go back and you just focus now on fully walling your base. We, we already did more damage than him, so we're in a good position. We don't need to, to look for more damage. Position your spears better as well. I don't like them there. Yeah, you can split them up. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice, let's go, good defense. All right, so you're still open on the right side near your wood line. I'm gonna tell you that just so we don't die, die oh, okay. to some cheese. Yeah. Yeah. There's no point of losing to that. Right, nice, and now we can focus on the full walls. I have a little bit too much wood, so if anyone's on straggler trees, you need to make farms with them. Mm, yeah, there's no one. Oh yeah, this one. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Okay, and now, as we wall up our base, going into castledge, what do we want to do? Uh, yeah, archery. Okay. I mean crossbows. So we can already start the switch. You can already make a range inside your base, but don't show him the range. Okay. Yeah. Um, no, no, no. Closer to the front. So. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's like perfect. <clears throat> but again, you should be definitely blo like using your spears to protect your wall builds. Your, your spears are doing nothing, always. In the wrong spots. I shouldn't make too much farms though. Yeah, so you can you can make a couple and then go to gold as well. You need you need to go up on like eight on gold to have two range production, maybe nine with Britain. Mm -hmm. Again, where are your spears? I'm losing. Uh, <laughs> I'm losing the. Okay, I need to focus. Yeah. Sorry. No, it's okay. Yes. Should I maybe sell my yep. wood and? Yep. Go up ASAP. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, and, and your build is really good here. So we'll just make sure we're fully walled here. Yeah, a couple of houses there, and then make the second range, and that's perfect. Two range archer production. We have eight on gold. That's exactly what we want. And we survived early game. Not only did we survive, we killed an extra build. So we have a better early game. You had really good idle TC time, very little. So we're in a better position now, and I'm going to switch to archers. Good. He's already on skirmishers. Okay. What, what will you do against skirmishers? Mm, scouts, maybe? Okay. I mean, I don't really care if he comes in. Okay. Amazing defense, that was really good. Yeah, yeah. I don't have defense on the uh, skirm, so I guess I can go crossbow still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still, we still want to commit the crossbows for sure. Alright, so now with our army, we can look to pressure. Yeah, a couple things you forgot to get. It's like the gold money upgrade and the now bow saw. They're definitely okay, needed, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm looking for the TC spots here, one here. Okay. 
I don't like delete as a key bind. Yeah, we can change that, no problem. A lot of people change it, by the way. Yeah, it's really far. Yeah. Okay. Ah, okay. Okay, so now with your scouts, we need to try to break in. Like, your opponent's still futilage. You're giving him way too much time. Mm. Yeah, scouts and archers in the same spot, we break in. In the same spot? Oh, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. okay. scouts good. hit the wall, archers prevent the rewall, and hit the, any scrims behind. Use the market if you want to afford it. Yeah, exactly. It's better to have perfect macro, but if you're not there, then use the market a little bit. It would be definitely key. <laughs> See, if your archers were there, you, you kill the villain and you break in right away. And the game just yeah, ends on the true. spot. Okay. Why siege push? To, because I expect from him to defend with siege. Maybe that's a bit early okay. to guess. No, no, it's okay. I just want to ask you why. Okay. Yeah. Your micro is insane, actually. It's unfair at this level, I think. <laughs> uh, if only, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's not enough. And sometimes, of course, it's not uh, that good. But thank you. Yeah, perfect. So he's killed a lot of villagers. Mm. Okay, now we have the yeah, siege the shop. siege was not that good. Yeah, th yeah. Th that's why I want to ask you why, why you made it, you know? I wanted you to see for yourself that it's not a good idea. It's not, it's not terrible, because now you can push. Like, now, if you want to commit to the siege shop, we, we made it, so we have to use it. Um, let's group up some crossbows and then we'll, we can push with siege but we need like 20 crossbows or something to be able to have a good push so we'll just mass the crossbows and with a couple of then we can push again we're on 3tc so we're still okay at home <clears throat> that needs some more people on wood yeah no not this Nice. Yeah. You're doing much better than the first session with the balancing economy and with the production. It's really good. Nice. Yeah, the production is. Yeah. Uh, I learned a lot from this. Yeah, amazing. From the first session. Okay. Uh, let's attack maybe. Yeah. I might have some knights. Uh, that's also, that's also, oh, sorry. That's also one of my problems. Mm -hmm. I never prepare early enough for the pikes. Okay. So maybe a pike switch would be good or. Well, so you have plus two. yeah, you, you, you didn't click the knights until this moment. I want to talk about that. So you want to see how heavy he's committing on the knights. Right now, he took a lot of damage economy, like economically. So now mm. we're pulling so far ahead with bills. We're probably like 20, 25 bills up at this point. So we don't need to rush the game. So if he's got a lot of knights, we play back. As soon as you see a lot of knights, just run away. And if you want to prepare pikes from now, it's good. No reason not to. Because Teutons... Uh, they usually, I mean, they have good cavalry. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, they, oh, oh, you don't know. Yeah, they have good cavalry. Yeah, that's obviously something okay. we will learn over time. So now um, we have the crossbows. Knights, but, uh... What I want you to do with the crossbows is put some pressure, but don't overcommit. Because remember, what I said we're, we're so far ahead economically, but we don't want to give him too much time either. You know what I mean? Yep. Nice. I like the stone. So like, put some pressure. See what he's doing. Okay. A lot of knights. 
Okay. So now we can back off. Because he has enough knights where he can kill us. So we, we, let's back off a little bit. Yeah. Took a hit and run. We, we trade a little bit. Alright, so now we'll prepare some pikemen at home. Yeah, so right now he's pretty all in on the knights. So stop wasting army, and bring them all back, and we look to defend. Okay, focus on your strategy. Focus on the production. More more barracks, more pikemen. Everything can hide in your town center for now, right? Perfect. All right, really important that we make a ton of... Uh, Ton of pikes now. Pikes, yeah. yeah, more barracks as well. He's on full knights, we know this. Yep. Um. No, nice. no panic, you're still ahead a lot of villagers. So just keep pikes rolling, villagers rolling, and try to defend as best as you can. So he's still committing knights, siege, for sure you're still ahead in builds. Even though he killed a few. For sure we're still ahead. So all we need to yes, do is... Yeah, exactly. All we need to do is clear up his knights, and now we are, we're on the counter unit. Now he needs to find an answer to that, and he won't have the economy for that. So that's what we need to we need to do. What you could do, since you lost a few builds, if you want to keep the vill lead, what you could do is add a fourth town center now. Ah, uh, yeah. I see. And try to recover some of that vill lead to stay ahead, yeah. Nice. Your map is very hilly, so it's a bit awkward. Alright, now let's try to get our economy back on track. Fix the idols, make sure everything's working again. And now we're yeah, on the counter more units. farms maybe? Yeah, more farms would be nice, for sure. Uh, when should I go to imp though? No. After you get after you have a castle. Whenever your opponent's all in castle or pushing you hard in castle, we get one castle in a good place and then we can go up to imp. Until then, you continue making army. You we're, we're not safe. We need to continue making pikes. And continue making army. And make sure you're getting wheelbarrow at this point. Wheelbarrow is really good. Ah uh, yeah. Yeah. Whenever you have like twenty farms, wheelbarrow is perfect. Yeah, so just keep making pikes, there's no reason not to here. We, we want to make halves eventually anyway, so pikemen now is very good. Okay, now you have a castle. So now I want you to have a good amount of military and then pick a good spot for the castle. That hill in the center is looking juicy. Yeah, exactly. So we try to... can force it now maybe. Yeah, yeah, you can force it and you have the army to defend. That's why we want to continue making army. So we can win this fight and after we win this fight, the castle goes down. Where are the pikes at? Where are the pikes at? There we um, go. Patrol? Okay. Oh, wait, the rams.
We need this castle to go up now. <laughs> Please get this castle. Okay. okay, perfect. Okay, now we continue massing pikes. Oh, the militia. Nice. <laughs> Kill the corpse of the castle. Nice. Okay, now use the army inside the castle to fight, and then you can clear that up completely. Okay. So now we, we took a lot of damage, so we, we still can't go in. We have to continue making builds and continue making army. The pikes at your gold didn't come, and that's why we couldn't win that fight. We need those pikes at your gold. Ah. Uh, yeah. Ah, uh, these guys. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's why we lost that fight. Well, and a couple other reasons, but it's okay. We'll talk about them after. All right, so now we need an answer to his scorpions. Uh, a really good answer is actually Lombo. So I suggest you go Lombo. So your composition is going to look yeah. like Lombo plus Habadir, and that's a really good composition. So that's what we can aim for here. But in the meantime, we got to fix our economy and look to try to expand safely. Yep. Um... There are some inefficient guys. Maybe go here. Alright, now we can look for Imp. Because now we have a castle to defend ourselves. It's very hard for him to push us, so now Imp would be very nice. We still have a good economy, but at this point we don't really know what he's up to. I assume you have a better economy though. And now, okay, he's trying to push us. So more pikes, prepare for the push and fight only near your castle. Yeah, just go back, go back. Let him commit, let him commit. So we fight near our castle, but produce pikes before the fight starts. Use your castle to snipe the scorpions and then the pikes can hit everything else. And that's perfect. Let him, let him come, let him come, no problem. We fight, yeah, at the last second we fight. Perfect. Patrol, beautiful. Game is over. Yeah, you need to. Uh, it's really hard to, if if you are not telling me how to play the the, the micro thing. Yeah, yeah. You know. I I know you you have you had some trouble with some of the patrol fights actually. So we're gonna talk about that afterwards. Yeah. He killed your castle, but no problem. He invested so much that so we can literally just remake a castle wherever you want. If that hill is too dangerous somewhere else, but no problem. No, no, no. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I need to put some damage though, I think. Why? He's all in. Like, you, are you sure he's all in? 100%, because he had 5 rams and a ton of knights. They're very expensive units. Remember, we did a lot of damage to him early. Yeah. I don't know. For me, he has 3TC, uh, beautiful economy. <laughs> for him. If, he, if he has a beautiful economy 3TC, he's playing against me. He's not going to play against you on the ladder, don't worry. <laughs> Um, for the scorpions, maybe a couple okay. of knights. Sure, yeah, they they can help out for sure. All right, now once it gets in pillage, we want to get to our composition. Okay, GG. GG. Okay, nice, nice. Uh, perfect. Let's see his. Uh, okay, not perfect actually. That was very far from perfect. But look at his economy. <laughs> okay. Very very far from perfect. Yeah, exactly. Still two uh, TC. Okay, two TC. How many deals? 84 we're at one of 104 okay so now go back to the map i have to I have to talk about a few things okay forget about the fights for now okay when you when you broke in so remember from early game this is why i put so much stress on early game you did a really nice early game and then you put pressure in castleage right you are mm -hmm. way too slow to put pressure if you got into his base 30 seconds earlier which you could have if you just use the scouts and archers to break in you go in there and you kill literally all his villagers he can't play the game you win on the spot because you were 30 yeah. seconds late, it's still good. We still killed a lot of vills, but he managed to recover. Now, after we did a lot of damage, we're on 3TC at home. So we're getting a massive village lead. Your biggest mistake was going out to the crossbows and staying out. Remember when I said put a little bit of pressure, and then as soon as you see knights, you have to run away? You did yeah, it. Yeah, because I, I did the siege in front, and I wanted to stay near the siege, but it, it, was, uh, it was useless. Yeah, and, and it's okay. Like I understand you want to protect the siege, but the idea is as soon as you see him on a lot of knights, 
You back away. Why do you back away there? Because you know he has only two choices. To come back in the game because you did a lot of damage, he either needs to go for a really greedy boom, he sacrifice army, go for TC to catch up in Vils, or he goes mm -hmm. all in to push you. So if you see him a lot of nights after you did damage to his economy, then you know he can only win if he goes all in. So all you have to do is go back, not lose your army. If you fight, if you fought with 20 crossbow and the pikes that you had, you would never lose a single fight. But because you lost those 20 crossbow, it was a lot harder. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, every, yeah. losing your it, it's uh, in your guides. Yeah. First thing is not lose your archers. Yeah, exactly. Keep the mass. Exactly. Keep the mass alive, and then you can su supplement it with monks and and pikes. Another thing. So like just to recap that, if you're if you're winning early game, check if he's making army. If he is, go back. We defend. If he's not making army, then you can continue pressure. Don't let him greed. Don't let him get the economy. Uh, second thing, um, learning sieves are is is good, so that will be like helpful eventually. What I'd recommend is like check the tech tree of Teutons after you play against them. So you'll see, if you go to Teutons, mm -hmm. they have resistance of conversions, right? With the monks. Ah, yes. So that's why monks aren't great against them. You can also check, like, is it a cavalry sieve? You can take a look at the tech tree. You see that they have bloodlines, they have paladin, lacking husbandry, but they have like pretty good bonuses on the cavalry. So it's mainly a cavalry and infantry sieve. So now we know what to expect. So every time you play against a new sieve, I recommend you do this just to understand what they have okay. and what uh, you know and what and what to do against them. So in this case, monks will not be good against other sieves. Monks are better. So our strategy was good here, but execution was pretty pretty bad after early game. I'm not gonna lie. Yes, no, no, that's yeah. true. And. You see the the fact that I didn't see my pikes here. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I should switch the map. Uh, Sometimes. I don't think switching the map is necessary. I think the idea is like, okay, you're gonna go attack. Where's all my units? You know what I mean? Like, make sure I have all my units before I I because I, I, I need to defend. So just do do like a double check, and then before every fight, queue a bunch of units and then fight. Because if you don't queue units and you fight and you lose, then you have no units and you die. But if you queue units, you take a fight, and then you lose, you have some reinforcements right away as well, at yeah. least. So there's that. Yeah, keep, uh, keep the queue going. Yeah. That's important. Okay. I also noticed some things with the early game scouting, but I'm going to focus on that in the next game, okay? I'll talk about that in the next game. Yeah, I will try to... Yeah, that was really... 21 really months yeah, and counting honest. tongue. I, I will do better. Yeah, awesome. All right, let's hop in. Let's go. Public okay, my channel. problem is not, uh, not knowing when is the good time to attack i mean it's it's logic but uh, i need to to play more i guess to to really uh, know what is my opponent doing i mean what i'd recommend at first is we want to attack when it's really obvious to attack like for example if your opponent's feudal age and your castle age should you attack yeah early perfect uh, yes of course <laughs> yeah if if you're in that same scenario and your opponent gets castle age and you're at his base what should you do should you continue attacking or go back i go back why very fast why because you can Pop some knights, or we can just go, ah. go in because he just got castled. He's not gonna have twenty knights, so we can continue yeah. going in, and then yeah, two minutes after he's castled, then we have to be careful. You see what I mean? Yes. So yes. your window to attack him is really high. So if you get castled faster, you really need to push because you have a big window. You see what I mean? Mm-hmm. Hindustanis. Okay. I know them. Yeah, you know them. That's amazing. We're Britons. I'm not really afraid of knights. <laughs> yeah, no, no knights to, to worry about. I like that you're thinking about that. His only answer to crossbows is probably going to be like Elite Skirm and, and his unique unit, Gulam. No, 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 keep your scout going. Yeah, yeah. okay, perfect. <laughs> keep your scout going in that circle. Sheep, ne sheep next to the sheep that's dying. Yeah. Perfect, there we go. Next sheep, get ready. Oh, always like that. Next sheep, get ready. Um, I'm missing up. No, no, no problem.
Okay, before you go to the deer, do one more loop. Uh, continue looping around the black stuff. Yeah, I want to see the edge of the map. So we, can so we can understand how to wall. Nice. Check the edge of the map. See that we said that woodland. If you went straight to the to the deer, we wouldn't see that woodland. So now, mm -hmm. as we're gonna understand a little bit more about our map. Okay. Ah. Oh. All good. All good. Stupid yields. <laughs> So your scouting was much better this game. And I think that you did most of it yourself, so I think that's <laughs> that's something that you probably just had a bad start that first game. Yeah, yeah, the first game was horrible. Yeah. But then <laughs> but then this is looking much better here. Cool. But I did, didn't get my second ball. Yeah, and it's probably in that probably on the left side, yeah, near the stone. If I had to guess. Yeah, perfect. I right, remember the sheep. We gotta keep them closer to our town center as well, because if your opponent can come and take them, and it's just you just down two sheep. <laughs> Ooh, interesting. Okay, late mill, so maybe Josh. Yeah, let's, let's do a, a ring around his base now to figure that out. That's a TC, I guess. Yep. Alright, so what are you going for this game? Still scouts, okay. I guess. Yep. I don't see much. Now you can pass through the front of his base again now and see exactly what he's doing again. And in your mind now, you should be thinking, especially if you're going scouts, where do you want to attack him? Like, where he's vulnerable? Okay. Okay, late. What? Okay. So he's walled a lot of his base. Okay, we're up faster. So I want you to attack as soon as possible here. Because mm -hmm. I don't like how he's That's playing. Right. He's doing a lot of walls. Because he's got a lot on wood. Yep.
Yeah, there's a hole there in between the barracks and stable. Ah, yes. Yeah. Right, I'll do... Yeah, what you can do is just things. drag Palisade through it. Ah, okay, yeah. No, no, click inside his base. He should still be open somewhere. Yeah, let's see. Maybe his berries. Okay, spearmen. Okay, a spears. lot of spears. So that we can, okay, that's, that's perfect for us. We can just chill, wall up our base as well, and then we can switch to archers. If he's making a lot of spears, that's perfect, right? Yep. Just make sure that, does he have a stable? We, we, we have no information, you know? Well, you went pretty late, so I guess it's uh, just a castle. Right? Oh, no stable. Range and stable. Sure okay. okay. Weird. Okay. <laughs> okay. You're gonna need a few more farms, by the way. Yeah, is a uh, wheelbarrow good? No, no, no. Maybe later. Yeah, you can do that after castle. We, we just need to make a few more farms now. Yeah. Okay, now with their scouts at home, keep them at home and they're just fully water base like that. Little hole at the front, we'll wall that. And then the sides, we have to wall that as well. Yeah. And the scouts will just defend until we get full walls. Because there's no point to attack, he's fully walled anyway, so we just stay home, make sure we don't take any damage either. Mm -hmm. Now, you still need a few more farms, by the way. I know you don't want to make a lot of farms because you're switching to crossbow, but you still need a few farms to click up fast. Yeah. The, yes, the number is like, you usually want to go up to like 14 farms with 4 on, on berries, so like 18, 18 on food. Okay. Okay, this is wool. Nice. And now wheelbarrow is not good? Uh, no, no, not needed. You'd rather, because wheelbarrow takes three villagers time, so we'd rather just have the extra three bills. We'll get wheelbarrow okay. in like castle age at some point. Wheelbarrow is good if you're going knights in castle, so then you can get it in feudal because it boosts, it's mainly boosting your farm upgrade, your, like your, your yes. farmers. And we don't really care about that. Make sure we're fully walled now on the on the bottom side. You should send two bills and make sure you just fully wall that so nothing comes in. Yeah, you just got some you just go back and defend. They should have never been forward anyway. You should have just defend yeah. till you get full walls. Alright, so now we need gold money upgrade. But I don't see any ranges right now, so I guess we're doing nothing in Castle Age. <laughs> yes. Yes, I was just wondering where to put them. Well uh, on the front. I recommend you make them near your farms. Like yeah, right yeah right yeah right there exactly perfect. You want to hide them a little bit. You don't want to show them, so that's perfect. Also, he left your base, so some somewhere there's a hole. <laughs> <laughs> I got one more scout. No way. Well, that's one hundred percent your fault because your scouts were supposed to be yes, there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's all good. It doesn't matter. We're gonna wall that up now, and we'll be yes. fine. Where is the hole? I mean, there's a hole at the bottom, so we'll start by finishing that one first. Where? Ah, uh, this one. Yeah, yeah nice. that that needs to be walled ASAP, and then after that, I'm not sure. I'm not even sure if there is a hole. We'll see. But anyway, we'll, we'll focus on what we want to do. We want to get the, you know gold upgrade. I uh, I have it. Yes. Oh, perfect. And then just archers and fletching. Okay, and I already, I already want you to plan your three TC spot as well right now. Hmm. One. Uh, here. Okay. And uh, one here. Okay. Mm. 
Okay, there was no hole, my bad. I have a lot of wood. It's like now you have twelve farms. If you had if you had fourteen 13 farms, months, love it. If you had fourteen farms, it'd be perfect, right? Oh, what? Yeah, 1400 yellow by the way. You have to punish this. Nice. Okay, use, use the scout now. We're gonna go try to attack. He just hit Castle. Remember, we still have like 30 seconds. We're not really scared of anything he can do. Still not scary. He has no knights. Oh my god. Castle. Okay. Rush that, rush that. Uh, he wants to go unique unit, we know that now. Mm -hmm. You can hold alt so you don't click the building when you're shooting. <laughs> okay. Oh god, Camp, I'm so upset at you. How can you be playing at this elo, man? We need to get no, out of this elo. No, 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 but this guy, this guy is doing, I don't know, but... Uh, but I have matched against other players that are really tougher. But it's, it's like, they always do weird stuff. You just feel that they're tougher because you're also making a lot of weird mistakes, you know what I mean? But I, I, I promise you, <laughs> yes. everyone at this level is always doing something bad, something weird. So if you just make sure that you're doing like the basics right then you're gonna you're gonna get so so many advantages like really really quickly so um, from this game what were my main mistakes okay so the, i mean early game was much better with scouting that's for sure your scout rush was also really good you attacked really fast you notice that you can't do damage you go back for some reason you wanted to leave before you're fully walled so just again just make sure you're fully walled because like when your opponent is fully walled you always have to full wall yourself if possible so that you both don't take damage because if you take damage and he's fully walled and you can't do, do any more damage, then there's a problem, right? So that's one thing I recommend. You just make sure that defend you... Defend until fully walled. Yeah, if, if you have nothing to do attack, to attack, then defend until you're fully walled. Now, going into Castleage, notice that you didn't have a lot of crossbows. If you want to do scouts into archers, make sure you have your rangers coming down early, earlier. Yeah, and I had a ton of food floating, so that was useless. Yeah, and you also are making two little farms. You made 12 farms in, in, in Dark Age. We need like 14 in this build. And then, okay. Yeah. 14 early. Okay. Yeah, 14 early, and then we can go to gold. And then that's going to be like the perfect build. Because then when your berries run out, you can send the berries to gold. We need more food early, not gold. So then we get a lot of food. We click, click up the castleage. We have the gold because we have the berries that, berry fields that go to gold. And then we have 14 farms, which is perfect to get crossbow, botkin, and then start sustaining the town centers as well so that's just yeah, that's one thing you should you should fix up um and then okay. yes yeah, aside from that it's just the the biggest mistake this game was making the ranges too late like you could have had an extra four four five crossbows easily i would say even if you do it perfectly an extra 10 crossbows if you do it perfectly at the, at the same time imagine if you have an extra 10 crossbows here you're yeah, killing the, everything that's the power spike so yeah exactly i guess i have to to get it earlier yeah so just work and on that feudal age build some archers earlier okay. exactly yeah so work on that feudal age build um you like next time you're in my chat you can just l watch me i have videos on youtube where i'm playing as like britons and i can do scouts and archers or even just pure archer builds you can see how many crossbows i have how my economy is yeah, looking I watched, at i watched them already <laughs> okay okay so of that's, course that's all, of your, all of the britons video man. Uh, that's good that's good to, but and, yeah the, the farm thing is a bit tricky mm -hmm. you know, because i don't want too much okay 14 yeah uh, try 14 that's, that's just what i yeah 
just what I uh, take from these 14 yeah, farms. Yeah, 14 farms, yeah. And then, yeah, earlier ranges would be perfect. But aside from that, like, your build is pretty good. I, I can tell that you've, like, you, you have, like, a good understanding of it. So just a little bit better. And you, you have, like, a much smoother economy. And then as far as taking fights, that's just something you're going to get better over time. But you have really good micro. Um, are, are you patrol slash attack moving into fights with melee units? Um, not really. So I, sometimes I, I remind... Uh, I mean, I, uh, I don't forget to do it, but yeah, like a, yeah, with, especially with archers, you need to be careful. Yeah, like with archers, you can hit and run, but with melee units, you wanna just patrol and don't right click their units. You made a couple mistakes yeah. with that in in the first game. Well, any okay. last questions, Camp? So yeah, imagine if he managed to get this castle and go Gulam. Yeah, I switch to champion, uh, to longsword. Okay, or... so yeah, so he has Gulam, right? A Gulam with no upgrades. Are you scared of it? Not really, and not must. Not yeah, really. exactly. So like five gulam, no upgrades. We don't care. We want to wait until he has. So r when you see the gulam, when you see the castle, right away you think, okay, I need a counter unit eventually. So you think, okay, longsword is a good counter, but you don't want to do longsword right away because there, there's no threat right away. So you have to wait to see how much he invests into it. When you see he's got plus two armor, which is like now five hundred resources to get there, or four hundred resources. So plus two armor, he needs uh, like ten gulams. So that's like maybe 800 resources he's investing, then we can invest into Longsword. But if we invest right away, and he doesn't even make Gulam, then we're just wasting. You know, we're just wasting our, our tempo. So what I would say is prioritize 3 TC first, see how much he invests, and then decide what you want to do to you know, counter his units. But our, right away, when you see the castle, think what you want to do in the future. So long swords would be great. Yeah, long, long swords are great against Gulam for sure. Okay. The way I see it in this matchup, I would look to I would look to do the same thing you did. Patrol, put a lot of pressure, and then I boom with three TC. Then as soon as he makes the castle for Gulam, I'm already looking towards Imperial Age. I would already be picking up the relics. And I'm already looking f like I have a lot of farms. And then right before Imperial Age, I would start mining stone and making some long swords. So then I mine enough stone, I have a lot of long swords, I make a castle in the middle of the map, and then I go champion. Perfect. I have better economy, I have Arbalest plus champion, good composition, and I have castle in a good position. And that's like the game is just so easy from there. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Uh, thank you uh, also, uh, the chat, you guys, <laughs> for, the, for the first video. You, you gave me so much motivation with the, the comments and everything. It was really nice. Oh, that's awesome. Now I will take it at a more slow pace because uh, this month was... Uh, was a bit too much, I think. <laughs> but, <laughs> a lot of games uh, played. But uh, yeah, maybe uh, in a couple of years, you know, we'll see. Uh, I think it's, it's definitely it's, looking good. It's, it's taking, it will take some time. For sure. But uh, yeah, I can, I can climb. I mean, the win rate is still decent, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I want to say as well, congrats, congrats to you, Camp. I mean, I've never really seen progress like this, um, where like you're brand new to the game and within like two months you're 1400. So I want to say like, for the viewers on YouTube, for the viewers on Twitch, look at this guy for motivation. You don't get, you don't have to stay stuck at 1,000 ELO for a long time. <laughs> if you just do the right things, you watch the right people, and you improve, you can easily you climb. Good. Yeah, climb like this. So, uh, yeah, congrats, Cap, and keep it up, man. Thank you. Thanks, and bro. Good luck for Mac. Thank you. And this last thing before you go, though, I just want to do the notepad. So just three points you can watch on the stream. Uh, so faster nice. archery ranges. Uh, Slash better build and feudal for scout to arch plan transitions early, but only do them when opponent is committing. Uh, when you are stronger, attack really fast. When opponent has a lot of army, but weak eco, stick on defense and wait for him to attack you. And make a mistake. Yeah, and then, it seems logical when you say it, but yeah. uh, on, in the game it's hard to process it. But yeah, we'll definitely work on that. Thank you. Yeah, no problem, man. Um, thank you once again, and good luck out there, bro. See ya. Peace.